Today, Pennsylvania is experiencing an energy boom. Natural gas, nuclear generation, oil, coal, and renewable sources make Pennsylvania the second largest energy field in the world. This has led to expanded business opportunities and new jobs. The Marcellus Shell has been a real game changer for the polyethylene industry overall. Now, thanks to our abundant natural gas reserves, plastics manufacturers enjoy lower costs and growth in the medical, food, energy, automotive, recreation, consumer products, and construction fields. Marcellus gas is wet natural gas. It has got a material in it called ethane. Ethane can be stripped out of the natural gas as a cracker, giving more value to it. And that's a source of raw material for a lot of different plastics. It gives us a source for polyethylene, polyvinyl chloride, or PVC. It gives us this huge opportunity for a cheap raw material for various plastics. In fact, they're probably the five biggest plastics in the world. The plastics industry relies on highly trained engineers and skilled workers. Penn State University's Barron College in Erie boasts the largest academic plastics processing lab in the U.S. and a revolutionary IP policy. We've changed our intellectual property policy at Penn State so that if a company funds research, they own the intellectual property. There aren't many major research universities, in fact, there really aren't any in the United States who can say that right now. Or a manufacturing company can come in, work with us, have immediate results within three to six months. Penn State and its affiliate, Penn College of Technology in Williamsport, are two of only five accredited plastics and polymer engineering technology programs in the U.S. And Penn College is the only one in North America that offers a center of excellence in thermoforming and rotomolding. When they leave here, they're pretty much ready to hit the ground running. And that's basically what the people who hire our students, that's what they want. They want students who, who have the theory, they have the background, plus they have the hands-on experience. Pennsylvania is really well poised to be at that next level of plastics innovation simply because of the resources uh, they have in their higher education. Griner Packaging, one of Europe's leading dairy industry plastics makers, chose Pennsylvania for its U.S. headquarters, mainly for its rich natural gas reserves and the students and opportunities at Penn College's Plastics Innovation and Resource Center. And they were putting out very high candidates for us. That's critical. You know, our, our business motto is do the innovation. We always want to be in the cutting edge of technology and we want to lead the market. So it's important that we have the right skill set available to us. And that was one of the bigger factors that attracted us to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania also offers incentives at the local and state level that make it highly attractive to plastics firms. Northwestern Pennsylvania is home to more than 300 tool and die makers, earning Meadville the nickname Tool City USA. If you want to get it done right, coupled with our strong work ethic, Pennsylvania is the place to be. C&J Industries in Meadville is a leading contract manufacturing and injection molding company. C&J makes everything from the Segway's wheel assembly to high precision machining, injection molding for shale pipelines, advanced telecommunications parts, and complex medical components used by hospitals worldwide. Over the last four years, CNJ has reshored 135 molds from China and factories across the globe. We were able to come up with a solution that paid for itself in six months, and that was through automation and ingenuity. That's born and manufactured right here in Pennsylvania. In one day, you'll have access to a highly skilled workforce of 6.4 million. In one month, you'll start to see opportunities only Pennsylvania can offer. And in one year, you'll realize that doing business in Pennsylvania was one of the best decisions you ever made.